all right so we've got that and then the next thing we want to do is basically uh, set some of the loaders we need some of the modules because we're going to be using ES6 and ES6 is not understood by all the browsers right so for example if you go to can I use dot com can I use and you look for arrow functions arrow function is part of ES6 you can see that I doesn't support uh, Opera Mini doesn't support it uh, and then some of the older versions of Opera browser etc don't support so not all browsers support ES6 so for that we're going to be using Babel uh, and then we need to install the Babel packages so let's do that so we're going to need a few things uh, let's clear it out I'll say npm install Babel core uh, I'm not going to go ahead and explain each of these packages uh, in this episode otherwise it's going to become too long but you can go and check out the npm packages uh, and see what each of these does I've just given you a summary that basically we need to convert the modern JavaScript into JavaScript that most browsers can understand okay and then we're also need, going to need the Babel loader so I'm going to put that there and then we're going to need CSS loader we're going to need style loader because Webpack understands JavaScript right so when we're dealing with styles, CSS, images of images, we need file loader. We need certain loaders which basically converts uh, CSS into JavaScript, right? So for that, we need to have these loaders and that's why we're installing these packages. So I'm gonna say hyphen D so we get all of these packages installed. Let's do that. And while it's doing that, let's do our configuration by the way we also need to configure this webpack plugin so let's do that quickly HTML webpack plugin it takes some configurations also like it takes the template name so template and I'll say path dot resolve and dir name directory name and then where is it so public dot public slash index dot HTML so our index.html inside of the public directory that's the path we're giving it and then file name is actually index.html it picked it up on its own which is great okay so that's that uh, apart from plugins we're going to use the modules configuration for our loaders and we're going to set some rules inside of this in form of an array so first option is test and it takes the regex so we're going to look for dot js file for conversion okay and then use to convert into js file use the babel loader okay similarly we'll set some other rules so that's for javascript we need css you can also do sas but for this demonstration i'm doing only css and for this we need the style loader and actually there are a couple of loaders we need style loader and then CSS loader I've explained in detail into my webpack series if you go to my site and if you go to webpack there's a whole tutorial series for the how to set up webpack and you know what are the different features in fact it gives you detailed information about each of these packages so I strongly recommend to you know take this course so we've got style loader, CSS loader. We also need for the images. So I'm going to copy this. One more loader configuration. And this time it's going to be, okay, there's some regex. Okay, this is going to be dot PNG or JPEG, JPG or SVG or GIF okay and then question mark dollar sign okay so this is going to need the file loader which we've already installed file loader and we also need to tell it the name of the folder where we want to output this so let's say that inside of the source 
we create a directory called images and this is where we're going to this is from where we're going to you know take all of the images and then we're going to it's going to output it in the name equals dot images so inside of this folder it's going to create a folder called images and inside of this whatever the name of that image is going to use that dynamically and whatever the extension of that image is, is going to use that dynamically so if you place an image inside of this called um let's say logo.png so it's going to output that inside of images called logo.png if it's a, a gif then logo.gif okay so the next thing we want to do is basically set up a uh, babel so what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and create a file called babel rc and we're going to paste this configuration here uh, basically these are some of the preset plugins that we are using this this is a plugins plugin proposal class properties again i'm not going to go into the detail of that uh, there is already a course for babel as well so if you go to courses and then if you go to babel there is detailed information about there is detailed information about how to set up it's like a crash course 30 minutes course so i strongly recommend watch this and it's going to give you all of the details of you know how these things are working uh, under the hood uh, so this basically was going to uh, target last two chrome versions firefox and so on and so forth including the ie 11 and this is going to take care of uh, the react preset uh, basically it's going to convert the modern javascript into javascript that most browsers can understand all right so that's that's your babel configuration which is great